But hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Happy Galentine's Day. So today I'll be getting ready with Merit Beauty. But if you want to skip right ahead to the Galentine's Day, then you guys could go ahead and do that. I'm excited to do this makeup routine because one, I'm excited for Galentine's Day and I'm excited for Valentine's Day in general. I think this month is super pink, red, and I love it. I've never really done Galentine's Day and I haven't done a makeup routine for you guys in the longest time, but let's just get started because I'm talking way too fucking much. And I wanna quickly go over some skincare products that I use. So after I wash my face, I'll go in with Gua Sha just to clear out any fluids. And then afterwards, I'm gonna use this toner, the Paula's Choice Toner, and I use this guy every single day and I think it is a good practice to use toner every day so that the pH levels on your face is balanced out and then afterwards I go in with vitamin C serum and I use this guy right here but I use this vitamin C serum every single day and I think it's just good practice to use serums every day so I'll use like retinol at nighttime and vitamin C during the day after the serum I go in with some moisturizer and you guys know I'm obsessed with make prem and I've been using this product for many many years um, not many many years maybe like three years but that's years i let my skin absorb the moisturizer and then afterwards i go in with this guy right here because this is half moisturizing and half sunscreen this routine works for me but it might not work for your skin texture so i would just keep that in mind the second to last step is i go in with another sunscreen this one right here but i just go in with a double sunscreen because I don't fucking want to get wrinkles. And then the last step is I moisturize my lips with this lip mask from I Do Care and I love it. Literally used all of it almost. Okay, so now let's jump into the makeup. The first item I'm gonna go in with today is this e.l.f. Mineral Infusing Face Primer. Sometimes I break out from this, but it's like minor breakouts, more like small bumps. And I think it's because it's oil-based. I am slowly going to start trying the water-based hydro milk primer. I've seen it on TikTok and I'm kind of curious about it. But anyway, I still have this guy and I still use it. So we're just going to jump in with this. I tend to have a lot of dents on my T-zone area because I am combo and that's where most of my acne happens on my upper lip as well. So I kind of put it in the center of my face. So we're going to wait until that dries a little bit. It would be nice if I had like a mini fan. By the way, I am not good at makeup, so, and I don't really wanna be that bitch that's like, oh my God, I suck at makeup. And then they like look completely different with makeup. I just find certain things work for my face, but it doesn't work for everybody. And like, I do think that there are better ways to put on makeup for my specific face and shape, but I just haven't gone that far in life yet, guys. So just I'm gonna go in with Haws Labs by Lady Gaga. I actually started trying this because I was using a lot of Korean products. So for my foundation, I would use the cushion pads. And over time, I realized I do break out from the cushion pads because over time, the cushion pads absorb your oils and excess foundation. So I kind of stopped using that. What I do is I started doing the Meredith I don't put it on my hand like she does like like that I kind of put it on my face like this a little bit okay this is a lot of it but whatever oh yeah make sure your hands are clean okay my hands are clean I like triple quadruple wash before I even touch my face okay so my hair is in the way I put on some bobby pins maybe that will help but honestly this method really works I'm gonna rinse it underwater I'm doing that out. Ah. I recently stopped breaking out because I've been seeing a dermatologist and I've been taking acne medication. I don't take Accutane, but I take something called like doxycycline, doxycyclone. I don't fucking know, something doxa, doxy. But I used to break out a lot right here and just like under my nose. That comes from a lot of hormonal issues. But anyway, I just thought that I shared that and recently my skin got better. After I put on my foundation, the next step that I go in with is the Rare Beauty Blush in the color Encourage. You just need a little bit of it and it works like magic. But I'm just gonna put this one aside because I'm gonna try the Merit blushes that they sent me. First of all, they send you a little bag like this and you could tie it like in a little knot and throw it in your purse, handbag, whatever. I would probably put my hand lotion and lip gloss in here. They sent me the Raspberry Barret or Barret Barret and the Beverly Hills. I kind of tested it on my skin, but this is the Raspberry Barret, Barret, Barret. And this one is a little bit lighter pink. Looks like that. 
because it's Valentine's Day, I'm just gonna try this guy because the Rare Beauty one is kind of the same color as the raspberry one right here. So I'm just gonna go in with a lighter one today. I love a lot of blush, so don't fucking judge me. I usually get my beauty blender and kind of blend it out. And I kind of like having blush under my eyes too. It's very slight. I might go in a little bit more, so I'll be back. You guys, trust me, this is kind of insane, but just kind of work with me here. I am a blush fiend. I love blush all over my face. It's one of my problems in life. And I kind of really like this color. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Before I set my foundation and blush, I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. My eyebrow pencil is liquid and it has little microblading tips right here at the end, which I love. But I like to work with the foundation that hasn't been set yet because I can kind of manipulate the shape of my eyebrows a lot better. So I shaved the ends of my eyebrows recently. I wanna have that thin Y2K look. So what I do is I literally shaved off the edge of my brows. So now it looks like I have no eyebrows. I just finished doing my eyebrows and if you guys wanna see how I do my eyebrows I didn't film that so and now I'm gonna go in with the setting powder and the setting powder that I use is the zero sebum from Etude House same thing just on my eyebrow area after I set my face my nose is pretty dry so there isn't excess like liquid or oils i go in with my kevin alquan palette wow you can see me and i've been using this palette since birth clearly it's kind of gross um but slay anyway i use this brush small almost like rectangular brush i'm just gonna go in and kind of create the tip of my nose first Try to make the top part very thin. If the lining isn't perfect, that's fine. You're gonna blend it out anyway, sis, so don't worry about it. And then I go in with a lighter color. Oh, don't look at this. So what I do is I start blending it. I drag it down. Trust me, it's gonna look good. For this particular makeup, I kind of want to use my Too Cool For Our School art class. I love this contour kit because it has three different shades, but for the blending, I'm just going to grab like a middle of these two. I'm going to start blending out my nose more. I go back in with this rectangular guy and I'm going over it one more time really helps. And I usually just leave this little leftover powder here for the next part, which is blending it out. And then we're going to go in with this pencil. You guys know this Jumbo NYX stick that has been popular on TikTok and I've been using it and I freaking love it. I kind of create two lines like this. And this is the part where I say leave the residue because when you blend it in, it actually gets blended out too. And then I kind of go in and like brush out the rest of the setting powder that I might have missed. This is how I contour my nose. I'm just gonna put on my lip gloss right now. This is also part of a step and I know my makeup routine is complicated, but it might look complicated, but it actually takes not that long. I'm just gonna moisturize my lips for now because I'm gonna put some lip liner on. I still need to put like highlighter on top and blend it out more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do that. I kind of go in with both of these. So I use the e.l.f. shimmer highlighting powder. And then I also go in with the shimmering blush. It's called Orgasm and I love the name of it. I kind of use the Orgasm. That sounds weird, but I use orgasm and I kind of briefly just touch it at the tip like that I literally do that motion like a weirdo and then I'm gonna go in and kind of just Like a good amount and just like put it on my eyelids I don't know why I do that step, but I just do it Kind of makes my eyes look more pink and then the last step that I do is I go in with the elf shimmer And I'm gonna lightly just put it on the tip again like that and then at the top Okay, I'm gonna go in with the next step, which is contouring my overall face. I know some people do it right after foundation, 
and I don't use liquid contour which is why I do it last because everything on my face is powder it's powder and powder and powder so that's why my face looks pretty matte I'm gonna go in with the elf contour kit by the way elf has very affordable products and they're actually really nice I'm just gonna go in with the darkest and kind of like this medium coffee color so I kind of go both and then I start off from the temples of my forehead when I do contour at the temples first, it tends to bring out my forehead, giving that illusion that it's actually like more rounder. Like I want like a crater. I love crater foreheads. It's not even crater, that sounds kind of negative, but um, like Rihanna Slay. I love her forehead. I wish I had her forehead and it's actually really pretty. I really like foreheads. But I'm gonna go down here. This is like where they teach you how to contour down to give you that Bella Hadid look. So my name, my name is Bella Hadid. And then I'm gonna tap it around my jawline just to give that illusion of a Giga Chad look. And I usually contour on my temples here. So I barely contour, that's how I contour. Um, you can kind of tell it's like contoured, right? The next step is setting my eyebrows but i like to go in with some old ass telescopic mascara it's really old and it's kind of weird but um i've always just done it like this so i'm gonna do it for you guys i'm gonna go in with a spoolie and what the spoolie does is it kind of like just make it look more natural and i kind of pull it out to the side like that the last final step is my lips. Remember how I put on foundation? The foundation got on my lips and then on top of that, I put on lip gloss. And when I do fill in my lips, I want them to be moisturized and plush. And then towards the end, what I do is I just wipe it off. My lips are like moisturized and it's more pink. It's like weirdly pink, right? It happens every single time. Weird. I'm gonna go in with this Revlon lip liner. I don't know, all my makeup products, I really get them on Amazon. If you guys want to know, what I do is I overdraw the tips only. I overdraw my under lip like this. Just at the bottom, I just overdraw it like that. Afterwards, I go in with my lip mask. I kind of blend it out like this. And same for the top. What I do is I just drag it down. But I low-key was tempted to do this and I'm gonna try it. This is the Merit cheek blush that I use, but I want to see if it works as lip color, so I'm gonna try it. I kind of like it. For the cheek blush, I guess you could use it on your cheeks and lips. I kind of forgot to do my eyelashes, and the reason why I don't do my eyelashes is because I get eyelash perm. But I will use this mascara that I have, and I have also saw reviews on this on TikTok, and it was the best seller, so I had to try it. I'm just gonna go in, and I don't need to curl my eyelashes because, again, I got them permed. So I just usually put on mascara at the tips. I don't like that. It kind of looks clumpy. And because it's clumpy, what I do is I go in with a spoolie, and I'm just gonna spoolie out the clumps. Do that. Okay guys, so that was my makeup routine with Merit for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll put all the products that I used in this Get Ready With Me down in the description box below. I totally recommend you guys check out Merit's cheek blush. Again, it's really cute and you can actually use it as a lip balm, which is really nice. I'm gonna get changed, dress up for Valentine's Day, and I'll see you guys at dinner. Hey guys! I'm headed to Valentine's Day. This is how the makeup looks. Oh, I also did my nails. Shout out Betty Cora. Thank you so much for sending me Valentine nail sets. I'm gonna be doing a separate video for them, but these are just like one of the few that they sent. The other ones are like so good. We're gonna eat at Cara, and I've never tried Cara before. My outfit is kind of just dress pants, and I'll show you later. I only wore this sweater because Landon and some of her friends are watching the UFC fight and I do want to join them later so I brought my sweater but I'll probably take this off for dinner and for pictures. Also so funny, I was running a little bit late because I didn't expect traffic to be so bad today. Usually on Saturdays it's not as bad as the weekdays. I ran out of the house so fucking fast that I, I will show you guys the picture. I didn't take off my socks but I'm gonna take those off and just go barefoot I guess. I mean, I usually like to have like stockings or socks on, but it's fine. I'll figure it out. But I'll see you guys at dinner, okay?
Doesn't it look so good? Thank <laughs> you.